Streaming today on Hulu in the United States and Disney Plus in Canada from 20th Century Studios is the medieval action film The Princess, and here's my review. The revisionist take on medieval tales is hardly a new subgenre, so it's all about execution when someone tries to do their spin on classic stories of kings and princesses. In this movie's case, the filmmakers have taken the standard damsel in distress plot and dressed it up as a bloody action movie. After the initial start, the film finds a groove and becomes a fun ride, especially the audience gets to know more about the titular princess and what led her here. The early scenes give off the impression the film will be violence for violence sake. We watch as Joey King's unnamed princess fends off a few guards in her tower in a brutal action sequence. However, once we spend more time with the characters, especially the princess, that creates a bigger investment in the conflict. The entire movie is set in this one castle, and director Lee Van Keet makes sure the viewer gets to know every part of it. He makes really good use of the location and the standard areas we typically see in medieval films. He also makes sure there is some variety in the action show. The princess is wall-to-wall -wall action, with the stunt coordinator successfully pulling many of these scenes off. Whether the princess is fighting off a bunch of guards in a staircase or fending off villains in a kitchen, King and the stunt performers display some neat moves. Despite the premise, the script avoids too many she's-not-your-ordinary-princess-type dialogue exchanges. There are also large sections where the princess doesn't even have any lines, with King mostly relying on her facial expressions. She gives a solid performance in the lead role, and Dominic Cooper makes the villain, who is attempting to marry the princess, into someone truly detestable. What helps the movie is one does eventually start to grow invested in the princess defeating the villains and saving her family. The stakes do exist, and the film does not shy away from depicting all the bruises and scars the princess attains as she fights her way through the castle. There are some flashbacks included that explain why she's so good at fighting, and while these are understandable in showing how the characters get to this point, they do interrupt the flow at times. Outside of its girl power theme, most won't find too deep of a message in The Princess. The film mostly exists to place John Wick-style choreography in a medieval setting, and play around with the damsel in distress concept. If anything, the historical period allows the filmmakers to find creative ways to show the title character's fighting skills, rather than the gunfights down hallways often seen in modern action films. The princess utilizes multiple weapons, allowing for variety. Most importantly, there is an investment in hoping she saves the day. This is a movie that uses more brawn than brain, but that's susceptible for the kind of spectacle it's trying to achieve.